the reason my fiance Rob and I need to get our wedding paid for is because there's no money left after this. Cut. <sighs> Take five, everybody. No, I'm not feeling it. I need to get rid of this. That's gone. Here, fix your hair, lover boy. You, I need emotion here. I need tears. Make a. Honey, we get a gas. Why can't we just tell him how much we love each other and that we just can't afford a nice wedding right now? You gotta give him a sappy sob story. They eat that crap up. Or we could do my first idea. You in a bikini. <laughs> We get one of those fans to blow back your hair and stuff. Then we get some hot bridesmaids to join you. And you guys do like a sexy dance. And then we- Okay, back to Earth, Rob. I think our real story is good enough. I think people would love to hear how your son Tyler brought us together. That when he was 10 and he got a MySpace profile, and he insisted that you make a profile so he could be your number one friend. And you made that cute father and son profile. And even though I never really dated a guy with a kid, I took a chance and emailed you. And three years later, we've been together ever since. Oh, honey, it is a great story. But you need a little more. You need drama. You need pain or sexy dancing. Well, I believe in true love. And that's what we have. When we first started dating, I told you about how lonely I was when I was in college in New York City. And the fact that you remembered that and set up my surprise engagement there is proof. You saved all your money so we could all go to New York City. On New Year's Eve, we went to your cousin Rory's party. The cast of Hair was there performing and giving away Broadway tickets in a raffle. Who's the mystery winner? I never won anything. Then I won the mystery prize. Everything about you is made me want to be a better man. And I want to do this here in New York City, the greatest city in the world. Because you told me all those stories when you were in college here, and how lonely you were. If I have anything to say about it, I want you to never be lonely again. Will you marry me? That was the most memorable moment of my life. Oh, sweeters. You're the sweetest person in the whole world, and I love you so much. But unfortunately, in this day and age, true love just isn't good enough. I think you'd be surprised. And you should think about it, honey. Well, my Allison thinks that true love prevails. But I know for sure that sexy dancing never fails. Rob is such a cynic. Our love is true and pure. The peeps are gonna see that and vote on us for sure. If you're into true love Or you need a little more of